the holidays and we uh, thought, well, who would be more festive and more, um, I don't know, in the holiday spirit than Mary? We should ask Mary if she wants to be a sponsor and everybody's nodding. <laughs> so um, Linda reached out and Mary, thank you for coming on our Avon lady. We appreciate you being here. And um, we're going to give you a few minutes to, to chat about what you're doing and then we'll have everybody introduce themselves. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you for the opportunity. And I'm glad to see a few of my Riverview Leads group peeps here. So thanks for supporting. And thank you to the chamber for the opportunity. And I don't know if many of you know, but Avon is celebrating 135 years next year. Wow. 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 Yeah. Started as a California perfume company, a dream of a man um, found that uh, he would be able to give the perfume um, instead of the encyclopedias, like people would buy the encyclopedias just to get the perfume. So, um, and, and the only way that he could do it was to get into their homes. So that's kind of where it started. And I'll be celebrating 15 Maybe. years next year. So super wow. excited about that. Um, I am surrounded by an amazing team. I've been a leader in this business for 13 of my 15 years. And so I know they're kind of hard to see and you can kind of not tell where my finger is with Zoom, but up here, if you can see where I'm pointing, let's see, let's do it. Let's go this side first. So the top is a basket that was put together for the uh, Women's Business Connection, the adoptive family. We did a basket for the mom. And so we can do baskets. The picture next to it, that is what every month Avon does a, um, a sweepstakes. And last month, one of my team members' customers actually won. So it was really cool to know somebody who actually wins um, them. So definitely once a month, go be sure to go onto the website and um, enter because you can't win if you don't play. The one underneath that, we have what we call A boxes. And they're really cool. They, you see the A on it. And they're full-size products and many products. And with a $40 purchase, you can buy those for 10. We have the, some of them on, on stock in hand. So we sell them for 15 and we can do all kinds of little fun things with it. On the other side, you'll see that cute little snowman. And what that snowman that you can't see, it's a tree. And what he's holding is he's holding, oh, and my son is holding lunch. Yay, thanks. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll just stay here for now, thank you. Um, and so we have lip balm holders and they're keychains. And you can get 10 lip balms for $6.95. So that comes pretty, pretty inexpensive. And then the one below the picture below, yeah, you can't really tell where, yeah, there we go. Um, that is a little gift bag that we put together with a hand gel, a hand cream and a lip balm. So there are lots of opportunities to wrap up your Christmas shopping that you still have to do. And even beyond Christmas, you've got birthdays, you've got anniversaries, you've got um, thank you gifts. There's so much. Any order that's placed that's over $60, I pay your shipping for. And then every dollar order, depend, no matter what it is, 10% uh, goes back to an organization. And so for 2020, we have given over $400 to the Mesa United Way. And for 2021, it's still through the Mesa United Way, but we're going to have it go to the Save a Family, especially after Jackie's presentation this month. Um, so we're very about giving back. We also have fundraisers, which Sherry does have a fundraiser going on. Sherry, show us your cool little bracelets. Um, so $3 from each one of the bracelets go back to the organization. And for my fundraisers, when it's, you can also shop the entire store. And for those, I give 100% of my profits back to the organization. Um, so, cause it, again, it's direct delivery. I'm not touching money. I'm not touching product. You guys are the ones doing the work of getting your connections over. Um, so we have a special link. And so that's also a really cool, fun thing. Um, and so the last thing I just want to share with you is this year of COVID, we're seeing life a little different. We're not going to stores. We're doing a heck of a lot more online shopping. And you can shop with Walmart or CVS or Walgreens or Amazon, but you don't have anybody that you can actually call and ask them a question about a product or get an idea. And you get that with Avon. You get a personal shopper, even when you're having it delivered directly to your door. And so that's a really fun thing that, and, and in conversation with an 85-year-old customer of mine the other day, she said, 
I like the old fashioned way, but I like the new fashion way too. Um, so when an 85 year old can understand that we don't get catalogs like we used to in the mail, we get digital catalogs these days. And that's really uh, where we are in our world and that's not gonna change. So I can customize a, a virtual brochure directly for you wrapped around if you want fashion, if you want jewelry, if you want health and wellness, if you want skincare, if you want makeup, if you want men, whatever that looks like, we can do that for you. So I appreciate being on today and appreciate being the Chamber's Avon lady and any baskets, any last minute things you need, I am here for you. Great. Mary, you're so awesome. Do you ever have a bad day? You know, it's all a <laughs> mindset. Just like everyone says, oh, Monday. No, it's a mindset. And so if you start each day with it's going to be a good day, it will be a good day. So now as I've watched all of you eat, eat I'm going to put myself on mute and I'm going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The rest of you be ready because I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and um, where you're from, what, what company you represent. And then, um, thank you, Greg. And then um, if you could tell us just kind of quickly your um, maybe your favorite, I don't know, holiday family tradition. And we're going to start with Sherry Eklund because she's next to me on the Zoom. Okay, well, uh, happy Happy lunch, everyone. My name is Sherry Eklund. I'm the founder of the IamTeenStrong.com website, where we um, support the emotional and physical health and well-being of teenage girls in Arizona and around the country. And I'm trying to think, oh my goodness, a holiday tradition? You know, I don't think we really have any, but we do try and, and always have family together. And my husband and I rotate um, Thanksgiving and and Christmas. And so um, this year it was my Thanksgiving. So we were with my uh, sister and her husband. And this year we'll be with his family for Christmas. When we started dating, you know, over 20 years ago, our first year, our second year came around. He goes, I have to tell you, we're on the wrong rotation. You, ha We have to switch our Thanksgiving and Christmas because it was all about ASU football. And we had to make sure that we were home in in town for his Thanksgiving to be on the ASU U of A game. So we're on the right rotation now. So, so that was a, a big uh, holiday tradition for us, I guess. So, thanks. Glad to be here. Glad thanks, to support Sherry. you, Mary. Thanks, Sherry. Okay, Dion, you're up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, Dan Baker, um, Golden Goose Digital Marketing, did you want to know where we're from, like, like location-wise? Like, sure. Oh, I'm from, I don't know. I'm from here. I'm from Arizona. I'm a born and raised native, so that's kind of uh, rare sometimes. Uh, uh, big ASU fan, so glad to hear that uh, another ASU fan's on the call. Uh, wish this season never happens because two games in, it's just uh, it's terrible. I um, uh, have no interest in trying to think about that. But uh, we are a full-service digital marketing agency um, offering everything you could possibly need. Um, to help with your online presence stuff. Um, yeah, we, uh, I'm not eating anything, obviously, so I don't have anything to go off of from there. This is my intermittent fasting time. I don't actually eat until around like two o'clock-ish or so. So, um, and I'm trying to think, I don't have any holiday traditions. My wife's family has a ton. Um, so I just strapped on with those, I just kind of roll with the family on that. They do a big Italian uh, Christmas dinner that everybody loves. And uh, I think that works out really good. So um, yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, Dan Baker, Golden Goose Digital Marketing. Italian dinner sounds like a good tradition to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, okay, Jan's chewing, so I'm gonna go to Dorian next. <laughs> okay, uh, Dorian Valente, I'm an investment advisor with Banker's Life. And um, I, uh, I'm also a new ambassador looking forward to that. Um, thank you. So my, I was actually born and raised in France. My, I spent the first seven years of my life in France. Both my parents are French. And so I really, really look forward to Christmas time because my mom makes escargot. And if you don't know what that is, I won't tell you. 
Um, but it's if it's cooked right, it's delicious. So there you go. I'm I'm really excited about that. I'm laughing because I watched alone <laughs> and they were eating snails. <laughs> yep. They're they're cooked in they're they're cooked in butter, garlic, and and parsley. So I don't think you can make anything taste bad with that combination. There you go. All right, Jan, you're up. I'm up. My mouth you is I've swallowed. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Jan Vitale representing Fuller Chiropractic, Dr. Tecla Fuller. She's located on Greenfield in Mesa between Brown and McKillops. Fantastic chiropractor. She's done wonders for me and uh, she's got a good practice. So with the holidays, you're feeling icky breaky and things are not in alignment. But, uh, give her a call because uh, she's got a $49 special right now. She'll do a complete exam and consultation. So I'll put uh, her information on the chat. As far as Christmas tra traditions, well, family has kind of dwindled down. But, uh, you know, years ago, being Italian, we'd have big Italian meals. And definitely the finish of everything was pastries, Italian pastries and Italian cookies. Well, since we moved to Arizona, which I've been here for quite a few years, I did find some Italian delis that um, have the cookies and not, not too many pastries. But anyway, because I work, definitely had to go buy what I wanted. Well, this year that I'm sort of semi-retired, this year is gonna be my baking year, which I will start tomorrow. I've got nine Italian cookie recipes that I'll be cooking over the next few days. And I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I think she's looking forward to it too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Linda, you're up. Hi, everybody. Um, I actually am Linda Haskell, Director of Membership Services, for those of you who don't know that. And um, in terms of for Christmas, um, I'm Polish and my family would have the most amazing, my mother would cook the most amazing Polish food and we would eat for days. And so um, I um, do not have her cooking abilities. So if I want Polish food, I there's a restaurant in Mesa that's not a chamber member, but I have to sneak over there and eat some food. Um, so anyway, that's that's what we did. So. Linda, you're not going to talk about your traditions of giving to adopted families and everybody else in Mesa? <laughs> well, good. <laughs> um, just, uh, just very quickly, I'll tell you... Um, kind of a funny story, but it was a little stressful. Um, so every year, as you all know, we do an adopt family. And um, this year, we had a member who reached out and said, hey, could you come up with family that we could um, give to? And I said, sure, no problem. So um, I reached out um, uh, to a agency, a home care agency that Sally and I helped uh, last year and asked if they had a family and she said oh yes of course well she didn't get back to me for, for and it was several days and this member was really waiting so I reached out to New Leaf and got the family and gave gave that family to her but well, then the home care family home care person reached out and said here's the family well I couldn't say no so I said Hey, Sally, I couldn't say no. And so um, anyway, um, I reached out to my neighbors and um, folks, but the really thing that, the thing that really tugged at our hearts is Bob and Sally went to go uh, deliver a Christmas tree for this family and found out that the mother had just started working for this, this agency and she had said she needed the work because she she didn't have any food in the house. And the little boy who was interpreting for her said, oh, but mom, we have grapes in the house. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, after that, it was like, okay, we need to help them. So yesterday we did, and we took over um, 
you know, food, lots of food and gifts. And um, they sent us a picture of the family and, you know, it just reiterated what Christmas is all about. So anyway, that's, that's my story. (laughs) I'm limiting it to one. Thank you, Linda. Um, Becky, you're up. Um, now, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, following you, Linda, that's tough. <laughs> I'm Becky Friend with the Koya Mesa Senior Living. Um, I'm excited to say that we are in the first group that's going to be getting um, vaccines along with the hospital and the nursing homes for our assisted living residents and staff. So we're probably looking at about the first week in January based on what we're being told now. I'm happy for that. Traditions, I think my favorite was while we were raising our kids here in Arizona, the entire family would gather at our house on Christmas Eve after the Sunday school kids program My husband would make his famous chili. Um, Everybody would bring a ton of food and we had a white elephant and a siblings fighting amongst ourselves on that. Probably my happiest tradition and and memories. This year will be different. Did we lose Sally? I don't know. Did she freeze? Did you freeze on us there, Sally? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Lauren. Hi. I figured I was next because I saw a button that said unmute. <laughs> um, good afternoon, you guys. I'm Lauren Loverat. I'm with Gateway Bank. We are your local community bank in Mesa. Um, we specialize in commercial lending. Um, and so we are here to help businesses. Um, and um, individuals. So, uh, my favorite Christmas tradition is probably Christmas Eve with my entire crazy family. We do prime rib and mashed potatoes. My dad cooks, and it's like the best meal of the year. Um, and we all spend the night at my mom's and then we do Christmas morning at her house. So I think it's just the tradition of being with family this year. It's going to be a little bit different, a little bit less family, but, um, we'll make it work. So I'm glad to be on the call. Good to see you guys. Thanks, Lauren. George. Okay, there we go. There you go. Yeah, hi, I'm George Bliss. I uh, I don't do too much. I have a, a real estate company uh, that we have about 50 agents and we do commercial and residential real estate brokerage. I also have a uh, pharmacy services company. We primarily serve the VA with virtual pharmacy. And we're just about to launch a new company, which is a real estate school. So uh, those are my hobbies. Um, I also uh, spend a fair amount of my time working with charitable organizations. Uh, Veterans are near and dear to my heart. So I serve on a couple of those organizations. And then also uh, old farts like me. So I work with Oakwood Creative Care. I have been for a number of years. Uh, Got involved because my former business partner was recruited by my mother, who was part of the auxiliary back in the day. And then eventually I ended up uh, on the board of Oakwood and have have served on that for a number of years. So uh, I also try to, you know, mess with Sally's head a little bit by being on the chamber board. Uh, Christmas traditions for us, uh, you know, typically in a typical year, my daughter and her family would be with us or we'd be back there. Uh, They live in Chicago. Obviously this year that's not going to happen. And then always the day after Christmas is, uh, since my daughter's married to a Canadian, uh, there's a, a tradition in the British world called Boxing Day which is the day after Christmas when the servants put all the uh, gifts back in the boxes. And we used to celebrate that. And the big deal there is pea soup. 
so this year we maybe have some pea soup on uh, the 26th, but that's about it. George, you forgot my favorite tradition of yours, and it's giving Sally um, peanut butter clusters or peanut clusters every Christmas that your wife. <laughs> well, has. Sally's already gotten some of those. <laughs> now, every, every year, my, my wife makes a, a special recipe, which is a chocolate concoction, which uh, everybody seems to enjoy, which is a couple of kinds of chocolate with peanuts, and uh, and they uh, they go down pretty easily. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing that again, Sally. She's She's made about four batches so far. Nice. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're on the call. Connie, what's going on? Good afternoon, everyone. So Connie with you is my guy's services, your uh, kitchen and bathroom modelers, transforming your bathroom in as little as one day. Uh, family Christmas traditions, uh, we are German and Hungarian, so we usually have stuffed cabbage uh, for Christmas Eve, which is amazing. Can't wait to have that. And then we always do um, a gingerbread decorating uh, house contest. So we have a bunch of people and we all divide up and then to teams and we decorate gingerbread houses and play games and stuff. And that's what we like to do. Hopefully, hopefully it'll happen this year. You know, I don't know for sure though yet. Thank you. And Teresa. Well, unfortunately, you can't see me, but I'm Teresa DeBone, and I'm the administrative assistant at the Mesa Chamber of Commerce. And one of our holiday traditions is on Christmas Eve in the afternoon, all the cousins, nieces and nephews, grandkids get together and do baking and stuff. It'll be a little bit different this year because grandma won't be around to be in on that, but we're still going to continue doing that. So that's what we do. Thanks, T. Um, I'm going to turn this over to Bob in a minute because I have to join um, the Macy and Iowa board call, but I'll quickly say uh, thank you to all of you. I know it's been a crazy rough year, but it's been um, kind of, well, I wouldn't say fun, but good to be able to see you all on Zoom multiple times. I've probably seen more of you than I would in a normal year, so <laughs> I guess that's been a positive, um, and I, I think well, staff would probably say my Christmas tradition involves them because they always get um, caramel corn that I make, which my family and staff consider it crack. So we, that's what we call it. Um, anyway, again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you, uh, whatever you celebrate, be safe. And I will see you the first of the year. And for those of you who helped with the adoptive family, thank you so much. We have a meeting room full of gifts and this family is going to be absolutely thrilled when they see what they're getting from, from, all, these, uh, from all these members. So thank you, Bob, all yours. Why, thank you, Sally, but I will remind you that there are only 15 days to Christmas and I have not had any crack yet. So um, time's ticking there, chop, it's, chop. It's tomorrow night. <laughs> Kids are coming over tomorrow night. <laughs> Anyway, um, so thank you all for being with us. And we thought, because we didn't really necessarily have, um, we didn't have a council member to go over development or any of the stuff that we would normally have on a lunch mob. Um, but we wanted you guys to tell stories about other members that you've had um, good experiences with this year. Um, you know, I could literally go person to person to person and talk about stuff that I know that we've had good experiences with all of you guys um you know and i could go on for hours but i wanted to give you guys a chance to say hey you know i interacted with so and so and it doesn't have to be somebody on this call it can be a member that's not on this call but kind of talk about um a member that you've had good interaction with this year that has kind of helped uh, make this year a little less uh oh i don't know weighty we'll just say weighty well that's old we'll, that's the word we'll use for this call weighty so um uh sponsor how about you what do you got Tell us a story. Oh, I got lots of them and, and several of them are here present and that would be uh, Dan Baker, Ben and Josh from Golden Goose. Um, my website is coming along beautifully. I'm excited to see the uh, updates on that. Um, Sherry, uh, Sherry has my story up on her site and, and she partnered me with a copywriter to be able to make that happen. And 
And now I'm able to continue using the copywriter for my blogs, which has been amazing. Um, Dorian has been a guest speaker on a team training that I do. Uh, and so he educated a lot of us. Um, that was really cool. I know Connie from, from a while ago, um, and that's amazing. And the other one who's not on, obviously, to Bob and Sally for the tireless things that you guys do and are part of, and Linda for keeping us all connected and together and helping with the leads groups, um, and Michael Matthews from the Farmers Insurance. He is amazing. He and I both co, well, he's the main and I'm the co of the Riverview Leads Group. And so we even gotten to know him on a different level, but my son has insurance through him and he was also a guest uh, speaker at one of our team meetings. So that's another beautiful thing about Zoom um, is to be able to, to connect and, and do all of that. So that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But I have to tell you really quick, a tradition. Yeah. Growing up, we used to do an eight foot burrito on Christmas Eve. Now picture an eight foot burrito. It would involve a lot of people to wrap it, to do all of that. When mom died, obviously that tradition died. Well, my niece a couple of years ago said, we need to bring it back because I, I never got to experience it. And you all talk about it all the time. So the last few years, that's exactly what we did. But this year we decided not to because it takes about 20 people to, to do it and put it together. Um, so we're hoping and praying for next year to be able to bring it back um, and then have our kids continue it as we move forward. That's cool. That's awesome. Sherry, how about you? Okay. Well, it kind of goes back to what I've said earlier. Um, Mary, she, with her Avon, has helped me with some fundraising. Now, my organization is a for-profit organization. We run it like, um, like an online magazine for girls and for parents to get resources. Um, but we are still able to get funds through fundraising. So Mary has helped me with that and I'm very appreciative of that. Um, I am a member of the Falcon Leads Group. And so I've gotten to know some of the members very well and... Um, yeah, Becky, just this week, well, last Friday, I met with um, Matt Watson of State Farm Insurance to drop off Toys for Tots, and we ended up having like an impromptu one-on-one, -on -one. and he might be able to save me like $500 a year in changing my liability insurance, so I'm like beyond jazzed on that. So, I mean, it's just unbelievable the connections that we're able to make through the chamber. And, and I love every one of the chamber staff. You guys are amazing. I absolutely appreciate how on a regular basis, you guys call me to see how I'm doing. How's the business doing? How can you guys help me and support me? You, all of you are amazing. And, and I just really appreciate all of you very, very much. So thank well, you. You know what? I will kick that a little bit back to you because you have been engaged since well before I even got here. And mm -hmm. I appreciate having that level of support when we're out there helping other members. So thank you. You betcha. Thank you. You betcha. Love you guys. Dorian. Yeah. Um, you know, I, <clears throat> I, I, right now, I mean, I, I always try and make an effort, especially with people in our in our leads group to really try and and put myself in their business. You know, if if Michael was here, he'd probably laugh because I kind of went after him to take my business as much as I could. I'm like, Mike, how do I get you to take my business? And, and I think, um, you know, <clears throat> uh, that's that's an important part. And so I'm, I'm grateful to everybody in our group that's really working hard to, to work together and um, help each other and and then bl that bleeding out into the chamber and you know um, Linda has really been my my go-to person I, I no matter what my issue even if she's not the one that I should be going to I don't know I always call her first I've just created a, a kind of a bond with her and I'm very very grateful um, for her uh, you know her guidance and, and everything and so um, I, I really enjoy uh, giving giving to, to where I can and who I can. And so that's, you know, the awareness that comes from you guys uh, to make me aware of what I can do to help everybody else, I think is pretty special. So that's, I think that's all I have to say for right now. <laughs> well, thank you, Dorian. Yeah. 
So um, I, I'm going to let Dan talk in just a second, but I kind of I do want to throw something out for him. Um, this year, if there was a way for us as the chamber to make life extremely inconvenient for a member, um, we did it to Dan. Um, and I will say Dan has never complained. He's never said word one about it. They've made every odd, strange, weird request that we've made of them work. Um, and frankly, they've been a lifesaver for us, and not just us, but for the community. So, um, Dan, I'm going to let you talk now. Thanks. You just set me up for failure. <laughs> uh, I didn't know such thing. Yeah, we, you know, we've been helping with the city of Mesa with the Mesa Cares Act, and obviously the chamber came to us. And at first, it was just, could you do some, you know, some like overflow? And then it like quickly developed into like, can you handle everything? Uh, can you do all the pieces? Uh, we need you for everything. We're like, okay, cool. And um, yeah, we've we've been doing what we can to stay on top of that stuff. And we're really appreciative that the chamber even thought of us to begin with um, when that all happened. And you know, it's it's been huge for us. It's been a great boon for our business. Um, in general, the the chamber as a whole, um, we're a very new, <laughs> we're a very new. Um, uh, business overall, you know, we've only been around for a little more than a year now. And in when we started this business and we were trying to figure things out, my partner Joshua was like, hey, my grandfather was in a chamber forever. We should join a chamber. And I laughed in his face and said, we are a digital marketing company. We do not need to be a part of a chamber. And we joined and I can't say how incredible it actually has been and it, how much business it's actually been and how much we've been able to help and people have been able to help us. And it's been this great thing for us because uh, it's brought us out of our shelves. Josh and I are a couple of introverts um, who decided to start a company because we thought we could do it better than the companies we were working for. And we're hoping that we're doing that. Um, but this was great to help us get out of our shells and do it. It's been huge. And we joined the Riverview Leads Group and they have been awesome. Everybody welcomed us with open arms and they've helped us in a million different ways. I mean, between Michael and Dory and Mary, I mean, everybody has, I mean, whatever they can do to help us has, has been there. And vice versa we hope we do the same and just it's it's been a really really good experience um for us and we we can't say enough good things and i just i was so shocked um i was so happy to eat that crow to laugh about the chamber thing to know what a amazing thing it actually is and we actually feel like we're kind of like ahead of the game as digital marketing company goes because a lot of our uh kind of industry you know friends and colleagues and you know, uh, acquaintances, you know, we'll talk to them and they'll say, well, what are you doing to build business? And we'll tell them that and they'll look at us kind of odd. And we're like, it works really, really well. It does. It, it's an old school marketing tactic technique that works incredibly well. Don't knock it till you try it kind of thing. So that's uh, what I can say about that. And yeah, we've just, we've been eternally grateful for that. And yeah, the chambers helped us a ton. So. Yeah. And with Linda and I, you never get to be an introvert. That's just the way that that rolls. <laughs> it's just how that rolls. Um, so uh, I, a quick word on Jan, because, um, well, Jan's a celebrity. I'm just saying, like, Jan's the kind of person that businesses want to pay her to be their spokesperson. So, um, Jan, I'll expect a rate sheet on what it takes to be a, a spokesperson from you soon, because you're just an amazing human being. So um, tell us the story. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so I retired uh, as from the insurance industry this January, this past January, after spending 41 years in that business. And um, I, I just couldn't stop. You know, when you're, some people can, but I just couldn't. So I figured to myself, I was with the chamber. I've been with the chamber about five or six years. And I thought to myself, I'm full of chiropractic. Dr. Tekla is my chiropractor. And she is a member of the chamber. And she's a small operation, so there's no way that she can get to the meetings, <coughs> outside meetings, whatever it is. So basically, I'm here to represent her and her business. I um, Everything that um, the chamber, that I learned from the chamber, whether it be with my leads group or a Zoom call, I pass on to her today. I, after um, my leads group meeting, I've passed her already three emails of things that would help her business. So that's, you know, basically what I'm doing. And it is strictly voluntary. You know, again, uh, I don't expect any compensation. I'm just helping her out. So, and it's, and it's helped me too, because, you know, retiring in January and, 
um, having had so many clients for over 25, 30 years, um, it was like, you know, all of a sudden, a come, everything comes to a complete stop. So as far as connections and so on. So the chamber has helped me personally, especially in these times where we can't get out and, uh, you know, we have to pretty much stay isolated. Um, you know, I know several seniors that it's really affected them, you know, and I, I also try and help them out when I can. But, um, you know, at least the chamber, I can get on Zoom calls. I've got um, friends with many of you, and um, it's been a blessing. It really has. And in addition to that, whenever I need anything, the first thing I go to is the directory. And I've used many, many of the uh, chamber members' services over the past few years. In fact, today I went to Knuckle Sandwich, which is one of um, uh, the chamber members, and got a delicious sandwich. I think that's going to take care of me for lunch and dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it in a nutshell. And uh, it's been fun. I hope I can continue. Uh, hopefully 2021 will be a better year. And, you know, sooner than later, we'll be all able to get together again. So true story, Jan bought an RV. And <laughs> next year, she's going to do a reality show, Jan, <laughs> on the road. And you're gonna follow, we're going to follow her around the country in her RV. It's going to be fantastic. Epic. Well, I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, epic. Absolutely epic. So um, uh, I don't know what to say about Lauren, except she's probably the smartest person on the call. I'm just going to say it. Um, when she first became a part of the chamber, she was with Midwest Food Bank and she decided that she wanted to pivot into probably the industry that was the furthest from, um, nonprofit service, which is banking. <laughs> um, and she's done a fantastic job for Gateway. I mean, uh, just being present and being active and being engaged and still being a part of the nonprofit community in, in addition to that. Um, she's helped with the, the women's business group. Um, she knows everybody. I, I don't think there's anybody that she doesn't know out there. Um, so I'm going to ask her for some connections to like some celebrities. Can you introduce me to Jan? Because I'd really like to get to know Jan. She's a pretty big celebrity there, Lauren. <laughs> Tell us a story. Jan is a celebrity. She is. Uh. Oh. <laughs> um. You should have came to our fundraising event. We had Sister Sledge there. We are family. Really? That was fun. Yeah, we had a fashion show. Um, well, thank you, Bob. You're too kind. Um, I I can't say enough about our members. First of all, I want to mention Victoria. Um, she is amazing. If you guys don't know Victoria, get a one-on-one one -on -one with her. Uh, she runs our our. Um, good news girlfriend on Friday, but she's also really involved in the women's business connection and um, she's a connector. So I just love her. She's connected me to a lot of new individuals here in the Valley and I just adore her. Um, Lyle with uh, Edward Jones. He's awesome. Lyle Zatchkin. I don't know if he, is he still in the chamber, Bob? Uh, I don't know. He like just, this, I think he this. just kind of fell off. Okay. Yeah, he just kind of just faded out. He's faded out. Okay. For, for now, he for has. Now. Yeah. Linda's like, oh, I'll get him. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, he is He is phenomenal. He's He actually does my stuff. So um, Connie on this call, I love you. Uh, Connie came to the rescue when uh, my bathroom flooded and uh, gave us a new drywall and, and rescued me from torture for a few weeks so thank you connie uh bliss i don't i think george dropped off but mara and george are awesome we work with them all the time on construction loan deals and lot loan deals um, for their clients so um they've been awesome we kind of relay back and forth um clients um dr garst just joined he's with the well chiropractic clinic i'm sorry jan i totally cheated on you guys um <laughs> I've been going to Dr. Garst since I was at Boys and Girls Club when I was exec direct there, um, I don't know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago or something. Um, but they're now part of the chamber. They are amazing. They're really, really involved in the community. They give back a lot to nonprofits. Um, so that's when I'll highlight. Shannon with Guild Mortgage, love her. Um, she's amazing. 
Carolyn with Ellen's massage and then Shannon Deslante is another of my favorite women here. So, um, I just, I love, I like that. Shannon a lot. She's crazy. She's funny. <laughs> I know yeah, she is. We go, we go out regularly and I'll be like, Shannon, I can't hang tonight. Del, you know? Del. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I, I love you all. <laughs> He's a destination person. You go out to Sheridan to spend time with her. Uh, oh Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll hook it up for lunch. Like their 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 meals are so so yummy there. If you guys haven't been there, you guys should go for Where? a lunch date. It's the uh, Sheridan, the yeah. um, Four Points. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good just to go and sit like with a business client or you know a friend and just eat lunch and support her. So, where is that? It's uh, on... down by Gateway Airport. So power. Oh, the Four Points Sheraton. Uh, show four points. Yeah, it is the four points. Okay, my daughter used to work there. Cool. Yeah. So thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Bob. So um, Becky, so Akoya Mesa was a member for a long time and kind of did. They they've always been a member, but they kind of disappeared for a little while. So it's been fantastic to have you come back and be engaged and be with us as often as I see you. It's really kind of fantastic. So thank you for that investment and tell us a story. Well, thank you for that. My story is Falcons Group. Um, I lived in Payson for 11 years, worked um, for hospice up there, pretty much knew everybody in town. You know, it was my world. Moved down here last November um, in the business world, knew absolutely nobody. <laughs> uh, really love Akoya Mesa, really was happy, but um, being community outreach and not knowing anybody was a little bit intimidating. So our leads group um, before COVID um, met here, met here in our pub every Tuesday and just getting to know everybody, getting support from everybody, really made the difference in me settling in here. Uh, just being a member of the chamber has done that. I really support everything you all do. And I, I don't know what I would have done this year, especially with COVID making it even more difficult for outreach uh, if I didn't have uh, my leads group, their support. You're right, not a lot was going on when I first got here. Um, <laughs> They have really helped me with reviews, building up our reviews and educating people about who we are. Just can't say enough. It made all the difference in the world and me being in a whole new world. Back in Mesa, I used to live here, gone 11 years. That's a lifetime. So thank, fantastic. thank you, Sherry and the whole team. They, they've just been so supportive. Oh, well, of course she is. She's Sherry. That's what she does. <laughs> So Michael Matthews snuck into the call late. I hope you figured out what we're doing by now because you're about to tell us a story. Uh, we're we're going to make it up on the fly. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So tell, tell us a good everyone. story about tell us a good story about chamber members that you've interacted with through the year. Well, I'm looking at the Brady Bunch screen here, and it's pretty much everyone. Um, where do I start? Um, well, I'll tell you a story. Isn't that the theme song to the Brady Bunch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. Isn't it? Okay. Um, well, first of all, th this is, I think, my fourth straight Zoom call this morning. Um, the world we live in. And from a chamber perspective, I'm okay with that because I love the first two years being a part of the chamber, going to the events, meeting new people. That was the lifeblood of my business. And it still is. It's just slowed down meeting people a little bit because everything's on Zoom. I can't wait to get back to in-person meetings and stuff like that, but we're doing the best we can, right? And the chamber's done a fantastic job of helping us keep that, that going. This is a great example. Thank you, Mary, for, for sponsoring this. Um, but like I say, the, the story was, I want to meet people, I want to build relationships, I want to help people, and I want to find great referral partners that I trust that I can send not only myself and my friends and family to, but all my customers. And so 
segueing to my customers, I took over a, a book of business three years ago of 531 uh, policies. And my goal was to get to 150% growth um, by end of year three. End of year three is coming up in July of this of 2021. Right now I'm at 125% growth, which I'm very happy with. You know, a new insurance agent taking over a book of business, that's, that's, that's pretty good. So, cause that first year was slim. <laughs> you have to deal with attrition and stuff like that. So outrunning the, outrunning the attrition is, is a hard thing. So we're rocking and rolling right now. And I cannot emphasize enough how important the chamber has been to that growth. It was the absolute number one decision I made starting out was to join this, this group. I remember Susan came in my door probably six hours after I opened it on Ju July 1st, 20. <laughs> she hunts people down. It's kind of 20, crazy. Yeah, 2018. It was, yeah, she, she was the first person to come through the door. And uh, like I said, it didn't take much. I knew that, you know, a chamber was something that I wanted to, to explore. So it's been the fantastic uh, journey. I think I'm looking here, Mary is part of our Riverview group. We've done business both to and from each other. Uh, Dan Golden Goose has helped me tremendously with my uh, website, simplifying s stuff that I get with farmers. Um, Sherry and I have known each other for a couple of years. I love her foundation. Dorian and I, um, great, great working relationship. Um, Lauren, you know, she's, hey, Mike, what can you do for me? You know, she, it's, insurance is a, a numbers game, right? It's not always going to work. But having trust and working with people and just saying, hey, see what you can do for me, knowing that it might not be the fit right now, but just building those relationships and things like that um, has just been fantastic. Um, I, I just can't say enough about, about the chamber, the group of people that are in the chamber. And um, I love all the, the, uh, the leads groups, but of course, Riverview is the best, right, Mary? Dorian? Dan. <laughs> nice. Nice plug there, buddy. Nice that's plug. that that's my story. Beg to differ. Here. Beg to differ. <laughs> Point of order. Point of order. <laughs> so thank you, Michael. Um, so what if here's what I'm gonna say about Connie. If you need something built, doesn't matter if it's a table, a building, a city. Go to Connie. It just go to Connie because she will build it for you. She <laughs> made she made a company and then was like, ah, I'm bored with that. I'm gonna go buy a campground and develop a campground because I need to do something else. Cause I'm bored. Next thing you know, there's gonna be like, oh, use my guy's city is gonna be a new city out in west uh, the west part of the valley, all built by Connie <laughs> Bunyard. Connie, tell us a story. <laughs> Oh, Bob, you are such a funny man. <laughs> Don't listen to anything he said, except for the campground part. And I do like to do things, but not anything. So um, I'm super excited to be a part of the Mesa Chamber. Um, we have been for about a year and a half and absolutely love everyone there from Bob, Linda, Sally, Susan, Teresa, everyone is just, so helpful and I love how you just rally around your members and do what you can to help them grow which is just amazing to me and you do such a good job at it. Uh, I want to say a huge shout out to Akoya Mesa. I was a part of the Mesa leadership team and we, they um, let us use their facility to do our casino night there for our fundraising events for um, for Pasta Cristo. Just about forgot it for just a minute there and that was just such a beautiful facility and so gracious of you guys to let us come in there and take over for the night. That was awesome. Lauren, I love Lauren's heart and Sherry, you're right there with her. You guys are just so giving back to the community and Mary too. I mean, I see you ladies serve and do, and you're such an example. And um, I think we're just surrounded. Jan, you doing what you do for Fuller, that's amazing. And Dorian and Dan and Michael, I don't know you guys personally, but 
I know, I know if you're a part of the Mesa Chamber, I just feel like that's just your heart. You know, you want to give and that's what Mesa Chamber is all about is being there for the community. And I think it's, I just count it a privilege to be a part of it. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Um, I need like three buildings built because, um, you know, <laughs> we're going to do some fun stuff. Can you do it for me? <laughs> I was like, hey, let's talk. <laughs> so um, I, I held Linda and Teresa till uh, I let everybody else talk. But Teresa, tell us a story. Tell us a good member story that you had this year. Well, I don't have one particular one. I mean, I enjoy working with all of our members and helping them out with anything that they need help with. And, you know, when someone refer asks for a referral, I refer every, you know, to whoever, you know, and help out that way. And I learn a lot from each one of them and all have helped me grow, including the chamber staff. Because, I mean, a lot of the times you're the person, like you're the first person that, that everybody starts with when they need something. Yes. And I, like, I, yes. <laughs> and I, I try to help everybody. I mean, I, you know, when someone needs like, you know, an insurance agent or, you know, a referral, I go into the directory and refer, you know, our members and, you know, help them out. Oh, you're so awesome. All right, Linda, I'm going to let you save her. So I'm just going to tell a Teresa story here because you have no idea about the volume of calls that we get at the chamber or, you know, what people are calling for. And sometimes we as staff would fill in. So one day I pick, you know, I answer the phone and there's an older lady on the phone and she said, I need to know that plumber who does the commercial quick. I need that plumber. Well, um, okay. What, what commercial were you listening to? You know, it's that plumber, you know, it, it, I, I need you to tell me. And it's like for several minutes. And so I'm repeating it out loud and Sally's standing by me and she said, so she says the plumber's name. And, and I said, well, this is a plumbing commercial. I think that you've heard, but listen, you've called the chambers. So let me give you some information of folks that are chamber members that do this as well. That's just an example of some of the wild calls that we get. And Teresa is the one that feels those. So she's being very modest in terms of what she does because she really does so much. Um, but what I was going to share is I'm just looking around and I'm just thinking what a privilege and an honor it is just to have the opportunity to work with everyone. And I think Connie said it when she said, you know, the hearts of everyone, because we have so many giving and caring hearts. And the other day, Becky came by to bring some gifts for um, for the um, adopt family. And I said, hey, why don't you come in and um, you know, have the opportunity to see, you know, what folks have given. And, you know, it, she was blown away. We were blown away by the generosity of, of others. And I think that's what really keeps me going and keeps me energized because, you know, you all, everyone does so much and, and, you know, you're working for your business, but you're also working for the good of the community. And it's, it's really awesome. So that's all I got, Bob. All right, Linda, thanks. <laughs> I, I'm going to second that on Teresa, though, because Teresa has been a she's a Mesa lifer. She's been her all of her life. So the things that she knows about, like what used to be in that building and what used to be on that street and what where you would go, like people will call us and say, hey, is that business still there? And she'll be like, no, that business hasn't been there for 22 years. Um, <laughs> but it's like off the top of her head. It's like crazy. It's it's absolutely crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So. Um, much love to you, Teresa, because you do you do amazing stuff with. Sure. The, I don't know how else to say it. You just do amazing stuff. So, all right, I, I, I want everybody to be a, just a momentarily self indulgent. So, I'm going to ask you if there's one thing that you want for Christmas for yourself. What would it be? So, let's put that out in the universe. Let's see if we can manifest some things. Um, and no world peace answers. I don't want any, any world peace answers. I want you to want, want something for yourself. So Mary, what do you want? I want my son to fully be free of heroin. Of what? Heroin. Okay. Uh, Sherry? I don't know. 
down. I don't I I don't want anything. I mean, I'm I'm good. You good? I, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you. Okay, I want little seedlings for my new tower garden. That was our Christmas present to each other. Okay. All right, I'm looking for rosemary seedlings. Rosemary seedlings. Okay. Universe. Throw it out there. All right. Dan. No idea. I have no. I haven't even thought about it. So I'm sure there's plenty of things that I want. None of them would sound, uh, all of them would sound awful in comparison to, I'm hoping that Mary gets what she wants actually. So there we go. All right, all right. And Jan? Oh my goodness. You know, I feel so blessed and I thank God every day for everything that I, he's, he's given me. Um, the only thing that I could think of, and I'm gonna throw this out, that doesn't sound very nice. I would like to find a nice companion. Okay. Somebody that I could travel with and enjoy. On the universe, so Never we need to find we need to find Jan somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Tender, tender. What's the age range? Tender. I'm just curious. Let's do this. <laughs> Linda, what about you? <laughs> Linda. Oh for me, well, I have to tell you all, I got it. So um we have a local artist who is um, in the Superstition Springs group, and his name is Scott Taylor, and um, he's been talking about this website and this great art that he has done, and I saw one of his paintings, and I thought, you know what? Merry Christmas to me, and I actually bought one, and I was really happy. He, he told me he's having a half-price sale. I said, okay, well, then I'm really in. So I got it yesterday, or last week, and, um, you know, Seriously, if you know me, I usually do not do that kind of thing. So uh, anyway, um, but I did and I go by and in that room and every time I look at it, I, it just makes my heart happy. So I'm good. And I'm, I I, I'm with, I'm I'll vouch for Linda on that because she has been talking about that for weeks yeah. and, then, and then pulled the trigger on it. So good yeah. job, Linda. Lauren, you just got a house too, didn't you? Yeah, I don't want. I'm stoked. I'm I'm moving in. I got my keys tonight. Nice. Uh, I'm moving in this weekend. So. Uh, what do you want for the house? What What can we? What 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 can the universe uh, manifest for you for the house? <laughs> I bought everything I wanted for the house. So I, you know what? I want to make the best memories. Where we bought in Santa Rita Ranch. It's a really cute neighborhood. Um, and I just I want my kids to be happy and make memories there. So. Actually, you know what, Bob? I want a new kitchen table, farmhouse style. That's what I All want. Right. Farmhouse style kitchen table universe. <laughs> All right, Becky, what about you? Well, I recently got what I've really been wanting was a total remodel on my very old kitchen in the new townhouse I moved into um, when I moved back down here. So now I guess somebody to pay off the loan on the remodel. <laughs> <laughs> Would sugar daddy got it <laughs> so becky needs a sugar daddy that's what she wants yes. to all right very good there's a website for that one too becky okay <laughs> <laughs> i'll message you uh, uh michael i have a pretty specific one but it's not uh it's not too likely i am uh i am this close to having to cancel um Christmas uh, trip back to Columbus, Ohio. I was taking my wife and my two girls and it's just not going to happen. Um, I'm afraid that it's just not, it would be too selfish for me to, to make them go through that. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do that, but uh, if there's one thing that I would wish for, that would be it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Connie, what's Connie want for Christmas? Um, so we have a trip planned to Puerto Vallarta, my husband and I, the first week in January, and it will be our first trip ever like that in our 40 years of marriage. We've traveled around the States. We've gone to Rocky Point, you know, Ensenada, but we've never traveled like to, anyway, so I'm just hoping that it all goes through and nothing okay. gets in the way. So there'll be pictures, right? There'll be lots of- Oh, for sure. Lots. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Dorian? Uh, I want my baby to sleep through the night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> and I know that that is a genuine desire. Like that is, I want that for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh well i i hope the universe grants that to you very soon sir very soon thank you Teresa. what do you want for christmas i don't know i haven't really given it much thought i'm i mean i got everything i need my family you know friends so i'm okay <laughs> sure not one little thing no, we have a bigger family, so. All right, all right, all right. I won't, I won't, I won't press you on that. So what about um, you? that was all I had. What do you guys Bob, want to talk about? What about you? What do you want? Oh, um, yeah, I kind of want a Ford Bronco too. That's what I want. So if anybody, uh, if anybody can hook me up, that'd be great. Because um, our Christmas tradition, and if you know, so if you know the staff at the United Way. Um, one of the staff members at the United Way is Harmony Nelson. Yes, that is a relation. That is my older daughter. And we used to, I used to have an Isuzu Amigo and we used to drop the top on the back of the Isuzu Amigo and we would drive around as a family looking at all the lights around town. So we'd map out where we were going and drive around town. So my wish would be, yes, let's get a Bronco 2 and let's drop the top and let's go look at lights. So neat. Oh. Yeah, that was that would be my gig. So sounds like a wonderful wish. It yeah. was a lot of fun. We'd do the cocoa, so we'd make hot cocoa and you know get blankets. Everybody'd be in blankets and we'd be driving around and checking out the lights and it's good times. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so what else what else have you guys got going on? I know we're probably getting towards the end, so I don't want to necessarily keep you just go do your thing if you need to go do your thing. Don't don't uh um, and I'm going to check out. Holy Have God. a Merry okay. Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Connie. Thank you, guys. See ya. Merry Christmas. Bye.